What's going on guys? Welcome back. It's William Booty Blending. Guys, if I had YouTube back in the day when I had my daughter was just a little little girl, you know, um, back in ninety eight. This was right after I left my predecessor or um, the one I learned all my knowledge from in the cell phone industry. Um, I started my own thing. I convinced a quote unquote proxy that I called a partner to back then you can go to these places called beneficial and just borrow money under your own personal name. I convinced him to go to a beneficial and ask for a loan of about three thousand dollars and I started my own cell phone business I bought just enough product I think a couple phones five to ten phones maybe four or five beepers because this was still the beepers were kind of phasing out but beepers were still around for a few more years and cell phones were just coming in but they were really still big like the big Nokia phones if you remember uh, Motorola had tight phones but Nokia still had them big ass phones. None of them were smartphones back then. I didn't know what I was doing, guys. I didn't know about keeping personal credit good. I didn't know what I was doing about keeping business credit good. But even with all that, if YouTube was around, I don't know exactly when YouTube came out. You guys can hit me in the comments to tell me. I wanna say 2008, 2009 maybe when YouTube came out. But if YouTube was around back then, we had a lot of characters. We had the guy from my landlord spot next door. This is in Stanford, Connecticut, by the way. Um, East Main Street. We had the guy that worked for my landlord next door at the sign place. We had another character, Spanish dude, uh, across the, the way at... Uh, some kind of break centers of America. They still had those break centers of America. He just did breaks. And then we had this young kid that followed me from across the way in Stanford. He used to just come through. He was one of those. He come through, holler, or whatever, whatever. And come to find out, reason why I can't say names because they were all doing coke. Everybody in this whole situation was sniffing coke except me. I just smoke weed. I never dabbled with that. But it was the landlord, it was the kid, it was the got break center guy, it was the kid to come through and hung out. They were all doing coke. But they were some funny characters. The landlord allowed us to put video games in the back, you know, the big box video games. So we used to spend our time playing the games. There was a lot of weed smoking. We didn't make any money. We basically was enjoying our life, but we was not making any money, unfortunately. Um, I didn't treat business seriously as I should have. Um, and there's no excuse for me because I wasn't that young. I was in my 30s. So, but if I just had YouTube back then, with all that fuckery and foolery, guys, it would have been like a show. I literally believe right now I would have a minimum of 100,000 subscribers just off content from the cell phone store. I'm telling you guys, it was a long list of people that would have just allowed me to videotape them too back then. And like I said, the technology wasn't there. You couldn't do it from your phone. You had to basically have a real camera back then. But if we had the technology of today, and I had that, just the cell phone store and the characters and the people coming through, I really think the YouTube channel would have blew up and I would have been bringing in right now a minimum of probably 10 grand a month. Just off that old content. I'm, I'm going on the low end. You know, if we could get away with the weed smoking and obviously I didn't, I'm not showing any coke because I didn't see them sniffing coke. People that sniff coke are like in this private thing where they go hide and do it. 
but one time I did walk in on them and they were just doing it. I just accidentally, cause we had a door from my store into the sign st uh, store. That's how the landlord had it. And I just opened that door and they were, you know, covering up. So I guess that that's what they were doing. You know, one of them had a weight on their nose. But besides the drug use, it still was a, it was a long list of characters. I mean, the sign guy he had really huge arms because he worked out, you know, oversized arms. Um, the Spanish kid, he was hilarious. Um, it was a young light skinned kid. He was living across town. He used to come through. He followed me over from my predecessor's spot. Um, it was just amazing time. We had this other kid I hired. He was a little feminine. We, we called him Pills. Short for Pillsbury Doughboy or whatever. He was funny. Um, the Asian guy I had, I used to call him Jet Li. You know, a little racist, but it was funny. And um, the sign guy was an artist. He used to draw me and him. Oh, man, it was just good time, guys. But having YouTube would allow me to have an income with all that fuckery and foolery going on. So why am I telling you guys this? Because you need to start a channel. You need to start a YouTube channel. I mean, this day and age especially, like, just having these small channels has got me to sign ups for all my opportunities so far. Yeah, I am doing some postcard marketing for my software business, but I believe for every 500 postcards I send out, I probably will get maybe five opt-ins. But I think when I do YouTube video, because I've got so many, uh, so much content spread out a bunch of bunch of small channels, that I reach a much bigger audience. I'm not just reaching 500; I'm reaching thousands. And I'm getting very few views, but I'm, I think those views, for every few views, I'm actually getting an opt-in on the chat from the channels. So I'll say for every thousand views, maybe I might get ten opt-ins, but it's just from the channels. So just having a YouTube channel is gonna get you sign-ups. I think that's the channels is one of the reasons why I'm getting sign-ups for Leads Leap. Guys, I really don't promote Leads Leap. I really do videos for it, but people see the videos over and over and over, and they do occasionally go to the drop down box and they see the link for Leads Leap, and it actually is like, let me check this out. You know, and it's not every person or everybody that watches the video, but I think that's the only reason why I'm getting signed up for Leads Leap. You know, my software business, it's a higher ticket. So I have to do extra outside of just the videos, but having a YouTube channel can change your life. Can actually change your life. You can, and I've told many people this. They've had talents way better than me. They look better than me on camera. They're more attractive than me, but they're just afraid. I was like that for years. I'll be honest, if you go back to my old channels, I was a little bit funny about doing videos. Um, I still have somewhat low self-esteem. Self um, I'm an introvert. But my over... My over... Well-being of... I don't even know how to put it in words. My my over desire to become an entrepreneur and be successful at being an entrepreneur is more powerful than me being afraid of what people might think of how I look or whatever or my appearance. So it's like, I don't give a shit. I'm trying to get this money and get my message across to get you guys to go to the drop down box 
go to williamblanding.com, at least give me a real email, check out my offer, and if it's not for you, you move on. It's that simple. It's not really like it's selling, there's no pressure involved. It's not like sales in a physical world where I have to like push or I don't get that commission from selling a phone. It's attraction marketing, so it's like I'm not really selling. I'm just telling you guys what I'm doing in the links below. And if you wanna be a part of that and you wanna make a few dollars doing it, it could possibly be more than your job. Don't quit your job. You know, don't be like me. Don't quit until you iron down your side hustle. But it could actually replace your job in the future. And a YouTube, I think, helped me do that. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And you guys see, I don't get a lot of views. Just imagine if I started back in 98. When I had my cell phone store. And it will say it was easy. Where you could just do it from my phone, guys. I would easily have over 100,000 subscribers right now. Easily, in my mind. And be making enough to not only keep paying for the store rent, but that would have paid for my lifestyle going forward. And I don't think it's too late. I ain't gonna lie, in the past, I would say five years ago, I actually thought like it's too late to come into YouTube. Nah, not with the new algorithm, guys. The new algorithm likes new channels. Like I told you guys, my new channel is actually doing better than my old channel. So start a YouTube channel today. I don't care what you put on it. It will definitely help you with your marketing efforts. Um, especially if you're into the ones I'm into. Subscribe, like, comment, and I will catch you guys in the next one.